What's up, boys? Today we're gonna be a player we're on A9 rated foot captains Lorenzo Pellegrini. Honestly, this is an underrated card in this promo. Being Italian from the Serie A means you get an endless amount of links, both with Icon strong links, uh, Di Natale strong links, and just other Italian players from uh, from Serie A. And also, you get the Roma strong links with Tammy Abraham Jammy Tammy, as I like to call him, the five star skiller for birthday. But we're not here for Jammy Tammy today. We are here for Pellegrini, a 6 1 medium, medium, right footed, absolute beast of a cam. Honestly, super underrated. You can see as his stats, his base stats right here, that he does have 90 passing and 90 dribbling. His two highest stats are dribbling and passing, which is perfect for a cam. And as the card suggests, that is the best position to play him. Some cards. Not this card, but other cards have a position on the card, but when you get him in game, you feel him out a bit, you see what he's all about, his his strengths play to another part of the pitch, but this guy very solid at a very solid as a cam. I think he would be wasted. Not so much wasted, just not utilized as well on the wing or up top. And for chem style, I know you boys love chem styles. Uh Hunter is definitely the chem style for him as you want to get that pace up, you want to get that shooting up. But to speak on the shooting real quick before we get into the, the nitty-gritty of the stats, it's 85. But I really, really liked his shooting stats. Not, not his stats, just the way he shot the ball. It was really weird the way this guy shot the ball. It just, it didn't make sense. He would, he would absolutely pepper the thing into the bottom corner again and again and again. And I couldn't explain why. The ball would just come off his foot a bit different. It would just come off different. It came off with so much power. In, in insane near post finishes, far post, finesse shots, volleys, long shots, green times, crazy, crazy stuff. It was insane the amount of goals this guy was scoring. But first off, to start off, he was like a bit slow. He was like, oh, yeah! clunky, but then I sort of felt him out a bit, sort of got the, figured out his strengths, which was left sticks. Not so much skill moves as much left stick. Uh, his skill moves felt a bit weird. Even though he does have four-star skills, his skill moves felt a bit weird, and left stick was definitely overpowered, very, very solid. Fake shots were really good with this guy, and sort of just passing, moving. His positioning was very good, and as I said, he started off the, the games a bit slow on the finishing, not scoring too many goals, but then he picked it up. He picked it up big time, scoring crazy goals. I would get him in positions, and... I would just take the shot to take the shot because I want to see what these guys are all about. Wasn't expecting it to go in in any way, but it went in. You, you'll see that in the clips and in the video. Some of the shots just go in and you don't think they're going to go in. You just rip a shot from a weird angle and it just powers home. But does it make sense? Because you take a look at the in-game stats. He's got 88 shot power. Nothing crazy. I've seen players with not, not, upper 90 shot power not do the things that this card does. 84 finishing. I've seen cards with 90 finishing not do the things that this card has done. But I think boot, putting a hunter on him definitely won't hurt him in any way obviously it's not going to make him worse but and it gets the pace up which is the, i like a lot the acceleration is lower than the sprint speed here which is not a favorite thing of mine but i think it is solid nonetheless the hunter is definitely going to help that get that up to 96 so we see up to 98 and then the shooting stats sort of get those off a bit the thing that are good about the shooting stats is they're all sort of around the same same stat there's no crazy low crazy high stats i wish there was like a crazy high shot power but even though this has the crazy high shot power stat, he performs as if he does have crazy high shot power, which is really good. But even though that was such a big strength, obviously the biggest strengths of this card, as most cams, biggest strength is their passing and their dribbling and also their positioning. The attack positioning goes under the shooting stat, but I think it does apply to passing and dribbling as well as you make better passes, you dribble better when you're in better positions to do so. And that card definitely does have this. Um, 93 vision. 96 short passing, 91 long passing. The, the shooting, st the, the passing sets are a bit weird. He's got bad crossing, but I'm not concerned because cams don't cross. You're a central player. You're not going to be crossing the ball. You're going to be playing long passes, short passes, through balls where, where you need where you need the good stats that he has. You need the vision. You need the short passing. You need the long passing. You don't really need free kicks and you don't need curve as much. Curve and crossing sort of go hand in hand and he's not going to be doing either of those. So it's fine. Free kicks, just don't take free kicks with him. I know you guys probably have a free kick specialist on your team already. So that's not really that big of a concern. But the 96 short passing is elite. He does have three-star weak foot, but... I was hitting him on both, hitting him on left and right. His strong foot is his, his right foot, but hitting him on his left wasn't that big of a, a burden at all. His passes were really good on the left. They're really crisp, both short and long, as they're both in the 90s, plus 90 if that. And it's just a great card to have. He, he, he sets up players unlike any other. I used him with uh, Jammy Tammy once again, and he was playing some crazy player lock through balls over the top, uh, driven passes. He did cross the ball a couple times, sort of just to switch the pitch. Just, I want I like to test out all the types of passes with players, and it wasn't even that bad. A power, power cross wasn't bad. Low driven passes are really good as well with this guy, even though in, in this game, 
passing is just weird. If you don't have a player with insane passing stats like this, you're not really going to be able to make those sort of off balance, uh, high speed passes that with the, with the intent that you would like, with the sort of crispness and the cleanest that you would like. And moving on to the dribbling stats, his other tied for highest uh, stat category, 91 agility, 96 balance. If that's not meta, I don't know what is. Those are obviously the two most meta dribbling stats in the game and very, very solid. And it continues down the list with 88 reactions, not bad reactions, but nothing crazy. It's sort of just middle of the park, which I like. It's good to have those stats to sort of balance everything out. Uh, 92 ball control, 88 dribbling, and 91 composure. I think that composure is probably a big thing to do with why he is so good in front of goal and why his shooting stats don't reflect what they would reflect on, say, a cart earlier in the year because a cart earlier in the year would have those stats. And you're like, okay, those are good shooting stats, but he wouldn't have the crazy composure. Also, this guy can defend. He's a cam. He's he's 6'1". You could play him box to box. I did play him box to box for like a half or two, but I wanted to get the most use out of him at cam. He would make tackles at the cam position. So one thing when you have a cam that can defend is the two-man press becomes that much more lethal. It does. Because you get a player in... In the passing lane, with good defensive stats, he makes the interceptions. If you get, say, Garincha, who I use as a cam sometimes, in the passing lane, he's not going to make the pass because the guy's like 40 defending. But this guy has an 81 defending with 80 interceptions, 80 heading accuracy, 80 defensive awareness, 83 standing tackle, and 81 slide tackle. It's more than enough. It's more than enough. With a 6-1 frame, maybe if you play him, I, I take back what I said about the Hunter. I think the Hunter is the best cam style form you're going to play him as a cam. If you're going to play him as a box-to-box, -box, obviously it's Shadow, and I think all of you know that. It's pretty self-explanatory, but Stamina as well, 97 Stamina, so you're going to be able to play him as a Shadow, or as a box-to-box, as, -box, as a CDM. I really recommend CDM as much to box-to-box, -box, because you're going to really miss out on the uh, attacking side of this card, but he, he has fresh legs. He's fresh legs throughout. That's what I like about him. It, it's why the pace isn't so big of a so big of an issue, because of Stamina so well that his top pace is more than other players that makes any sense say someone has 90 pace but they have like 75 stamina they're going to be sort of sort of gun out take rudiger here team the honor bunsen's rudiger i have up right now he's got 80 stamina and 85 pace so this card the pellegrini has 87 pace so he's two more pace but he also has tw pretty much 19 17 more stamina which is insane and also to close out the player if you looking at the player traits he's got incredible long shot taker and out to the foot shot two of my favorite traits in this game that's going to do it for the video, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you didn't, please leave a like and subscribe.